Southwestern Advantage, where you can learn, where you can grow. Southwestern Advantage, come and learn with me. Hey guys. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey guys. Welcome back to Avi Learning Corner. Today we got my Southwestern Advantage book. And today we're going to be talking about the nervous system. Okay, let's get to that page. Okay, the nervous system. This is gonna be a, such a fun one, you guys. There's a lot of interesting stuff in this page. Okay, let's get read. The nervous system controls and coordinates all bodily functions. It is made up of the brain, the spinal cord, and a complex system of nerves that reaches every inch of the body. There are two main divisions of the nervous system. So we've got the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. Nice. The central nervous system, or the CNS, which consists of the brain and spinal cord, functions as the control center of the nervous system. The central nervous system receives information from the senses. It analyzes this information and decides how the body should respond. It sends instructions that trigger the required actions. It's nice. How the central nervous system decides. The central nervous system makes some simple decisions within the spinal cord, such as directing the hand to pull away from a hot object. Like, if you touch the stove with your finger, your brain would say, Stop that! That hurts! Don't touch the stove, you silly! That's what it would do. Such simple decisions are called spinal reflexes. Most decisions, however, involve the brain. Much brain activity occurs at the conscious level. We are aware of decisions made at this level and can voluntarily control them. Other activity occurs at the subconscious level. This activity regulates the smooth muscles and is beyond voluntary control. Okay, let's read about the peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system is made up of the nerves that connect the central nervous system with every part of the body. These nerves include both sensory neurons, which carry information to the central nervous system, and motor neurons, which relay instructions from the central nervous system. The body has many kinds of sense receptors. Vision receptors in the eyes change light waves into nerve impulses. That's cool. Hearing receptors in the ears convert sound waves into nerve impulses. Nice. Smell receptors in the nose convert chemical information into nerve impulses. Taste receptors on the tongue convert chemical information into nerve impulses. Receptors in the skin respond to heat, like if I'm too hot. Cold, if I'm really cold. Pressure, like when I pinch myself, I feel pressure. Touch, like when I touch myself, I can feel that. And pain, like if I touched the stove, it would hurt my finger. I feel pain. Receptors deep within the body provide information on the chemical and physical conditions of inner body tissues. Nice. The autonomic nervous system is part of the peripheral nervous system. It carries messages from the subconscious level of the brain to the internal organs. The autonomic nervous system regulates such automatic functions of the body as the beating of the heart. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to how messages are sent. Neurons serve as local headquarters for the nerve unit. Each neuron has one or more nerve fibers extending from its center. Okay. These fibers vary in length from a fraction of an inch or centimeter to three feet or more, about one meter, depending on their function. Axons, the longer fibers, carrying nerve impulses away from the cell body. Dendrites, the shorter fibers, carry nerve impulses toward the cell body. Nerve, impu nerve impulses travel by a kind of chain reaction. 
one neuron triggering the next along the nerve pathway. When the nerve impulse reaches a, a nerve junction or snaps, it causes the release of a chemical substance at the nerve endings. This substance enables the impulse to bridge the gap between nerve endings and go on to the next neuron. Hmm, it's cool. Sensory neurons carry messages from various parts of the body through the spinal cord or directly to the brain. Motor neurons carry messages from the brain or spinal cord to tissues and muscles in fingers, toes, heart, and elsewhere. Okay, nice. The fibers of the motor neurons terminate in motor end plates, which are small flat structures coming in close contact with individual muscle fibers. When the nerve impulse arrives at the motor end plate, the nerve ending releases acetylcholine, a, chem a chemical substance that acts as a neurotransmitter to trigger, to trigger muscle cell activity. As the muscle contracts, an enzyme called cholinesterase breaks down and clears away the acetylcholine, making way for the next chemical cycle. Nice. The brain. The key organ of the nervous system is the brain. It consists of three main sections, the cerebrum, the cerebellum, and the brainstem. The cerebrum is the largest section of the brain. The outer layer of the cerebrum is called the cerebral cortex. It is about 1 8 inch or 0.4 centimeters thick and is convoluted into many folds. The, cor the cortex contains billions of neurons or nerve cells. These cells extend into an area below the cerebral hemispheres. The the two halves of the cerebrum, which control conscious mental activity. Okay. The cerebellum aids in maintaining body balance and coordination of muscle movement. Nice. The brainstem contains vital reflex centers that help to control heart rate, blood pressure, and respiration. Nice. So we're going to be talking about the neurons now. A neuron has three basic parts. The cell body serves as the control center for the cell's activities. The axon is a tube-like extension that carries messages. The dendrites are shorter extensions specialized to receive messages. A nerve consists of a cord-like bundle of axons from, a, from several neurons. The nerve shown runs from the spinal cord to a muscle. Wow. You guys, that was so much fun reading this book for you. I loved reading all about the nervous system. Ooh. <laughs> you know, I just love everything that is inside your body. Like, it's so, so just cool to read about, isn't it? Let me know in the comments if you agree with me that learning is just, learning about your body is so awesome. But, um, you guys remember, Knowledge is power, and don't touch anything hot. <laughs> now, uh, ooh. But also, go to www.swadvantage.com. But I'll see you guys later.